here's the new plan and it goes like this we're going to mask off as much of this gray that's already been painted you know re as reasonably possible just roughly mask it off then paint the brown deck where they have this wood grating it's the same here as it is here so we'll be painting that then mask off the deck carefully and repaint the gray where you got the deck color on the gray uh, I think that's the easiest way to go in other words do the deck first and then mask it off it's easier to mask off the deck than it is to mask off the uh, fence or whatever this is I think that what these were is they, they were some sort of a very very thick armor plating and you could sort of stand behind it but look over it I, I think that's what it is I've been able to mask off most of the gray and I think if I'm careful and I don't spray at an angle like this but only straight down and keep the airbrush you know spraying perpendicular to the deck I should have very little paint working its way up underneath the masking tape at least that's the plan now it was fairly easy to mask off this one but the smaller one okay that's gonna be a, a different story it's uh, it it seems that it's gonna be a little harder to mask all around the inside here so I think in this instance all I'm going to do is just spray the uh, the brown deck then maybe mask off here spray the the uh, deck tan for the for the teak decking and and then mask it off uh, that is mask the decking off and spray the, the rest gray uh, at least that's the plan right now we'll see how it goes here this one's going to be a little harder to do Well, I have just paged way ahead here to step 34, 35, 36, and the only place where we have this type of uh, wood uh, decking uh, is on these two pieces. I, what I thought was I'll just go ahead and I'll, I'll pull all the pieces that have this type on it and I'll, I'll spray them all and get them done with. Well, I guess you might say to my pleasant surprise that's all there, all there is. Everything else is either uh, this type of metal decking or the diamond plate type of decking or it's like uh, teak planking. Uh, yeah, so I don't need to mix up very much paint, just enough to do these little spots here, probably about 20 drops.
Okay, here I am with my deck, the wood grating. Highly detailed, shows up great. Now I've got to mask it all off somehow, because I'm going to want to be painting this, the uh, teak. Uh, you know, it looks like the uh, teak planking to me. I've got to quit poking at stuff. Anyway, no use looking at it, it won't do it all by itself. Okay, I think that if I spray more or less straight down again, perpendicular to the deck. I went to spray my deck tan. I couldn't get this thing to work at any pressure. I'm getting bubbles coming back up in the cup. Just checking right now to see is there anywhere possibly where maybe I had scratched, you know, with the, this hard wire in this, what I believe is probably brass, I'm not sure, um, body, and any anywhere where where the uh, nozzle is, uh, you know, seals. Uh, you know, I think what bothers me most about this is that I pride myself on being fairly mechanically inclined and uh, I can't figure this out. You know, it's not like uh, all of a sudden I spot something and I think, aha, this is it. Uh, I've got a, a problem with something is not sealing properly somewhere. I've checked the nozzle I know I said I wasn't going to talk about the airbrush anymore, but you know it's it's just it's just not working. So uh, uh, you know I, th I thought uh, I've checked the end of the nozzle to see if maybe it was cracked or you know and the air is getting back inside you know where 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 the the air focuses down around the end of the nozzle and it acts like a venturi and 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 it uh, mixes the uh, air uh, atomizes the paint. Uh, I, I, I basically know how this thing works, so why can't I figure it out? Um, it, it wouldn't even spray just pure isopropyl. And, uh, you know, I was, I was tightening the, the, the uh, cap back on over top of the nozzle, uh, and I had it on fairly snug. You know, I can tell by the feel of it, you, you just can't. You know, I think I mentioned this. It's not like tightening the lug nuts on your car. Uh, it shouldn't have to be. It, it, it used to work before, but by just putting it on finger tight. Yeah, I was going to close this video off, and then I thought, you know, it could well be that possibly some of the viewers didn't know what I was talking about. And what I was talking about is where the nozzle, the brass part of the nozzle, goes back up into the body. Could it possibly be that the wire that I was using to, you know, that had the bristles on the end of it, but when I was sort of reaming it in and out, I could have badly scratched the uh, surface there so that when I put those two parts together, uh, it wasn't sealing properly. In other words, there was sort of, sort of like a little gouge or a channel that was allowing the air Let's see if I can get this to go up in there okay so it was allowing the air to pass by in which case like this this is the cap this this goes over top of everything and the hole that you see on the bottom there that little hole that's where the air comes out and uh, this whole area is is under pressure and if it's leaking it's going to go back up into the paint channel and then of course you're going to get bubbles now possibly that that was the um, you know what was happening but I don't think so anymore I'm now wondering if perchance somehow the end of my nozzle here has uh, shortened or gotten worn down or something like that uh, I checked it under the microscope and it looks okay 
But then on the other hand, when I screw it all back together, uh, well, I'll show you. As Colombo used to say, just one more thing. And I've uh, reassembled it here, and I just want you to see how far the nozzle protrudes out of the nozzle cap. And I thought it should be a little bit further out than that. Uh, I'm not talking about the needle. I'm talking about you can just see where the uh, uh, nozzle is there, just coming out of the nozzle cap. Now, when I started out my video here today, I sure had no idea that I was going to end up with a this is how an airbrush works sort of video. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to go online and see if I can't get another nozzle. That's about all I can think of at this point. Um, you know, I don't want to have to send the whole thing away somewhere and still not know what was wrong. I want to see if I can't figure it out myself. In the meantime, thanks for watching. And all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.